Hello! So, we all know why we're here. We're here to play Soma. Should we have a look? Exciting. Like, a penumbra, I have no idea what to expect. Like, Amnesia, I had a kind of an idea, but this I literally know nothing about. I intentionally looked at no footage, no screenshots, Zippo. This should be quite interesting. Are you okay, Simon? No, somewhat nervous, You're actually. Bleeding. I'm not Simon, though. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. That happens sometimes. I, I sympathize. Here, my brain doesn't. This. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. No, it's red. Unless I've got colorblind. I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. I want to talk no, about my no, penis. No, it's not like that. Oh. Why now? Is that me? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? <laughs> oh man, I sympathize. Oop. Objects to be interacted with. Hello, yes, this yeah, is fine. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Ooh. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, also, are we I sleep still in on jeans. for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. I call bullshit on this very first thing. No way would his phone be on all night with that level of battery. I'm sorry. This is some sort of futuristic world where phones don't run out of batteries in like two seconds. <gasps> I missed you, Amnesia and Penumbra Games. Look at this. Okay. Um, do I want to take things in here? Like my comb? Do I have my comb? Oh good, I can throw things in. What's this? Some sort of flick knife? Yeah, look at this. I hate flick knives. Eat me, TV. Alright, well, I have a message on my answer machine. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. Hey. You working this weekend or what? No. I knew there was something you were doing. Was Ooh. it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Mr. Mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Did you? Also, we're missing subtitles. We are, aren't we? Sorry. On, there we go. Sorry about that. Tracer fluid. Where are you? Is it in this camera? No, it wasn't in the camera. I thought that wasn't expensive. This book. Fuck your things. Don't like your things. Oh god, I'm a hipster. Oh, disgusting. Right. Well, this is coming off the wall. Wait, I can't take it off the wall. I took pictures of a bug and a cup with that camera I just wanged on the floor. You know what, Simon, this is for your own good. Yep, this is for your own good. You'll thank me when you're older. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Um... Can I open the window? No, I can just... aggressively shut my curtains. Ooh, this is cool. Don't know what it is. Some sort of ninja clutter. I guess I'm a character designer, maybe? I like to draw things. Oh, thanks, Mum. I, I, I can read, thank you. Does this say anything on the back? That like she left me a special note, like, I've left you ten quid inside the card so you can buy yourself a pack of, I don't know, cigs or something? No? Alright then. Thank you for your participation in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access will be unpredictable. Alright. Lord. I always forget, and I always have to check on the first set, do you guys want me to read everything, or do you guys want to read it yourself off the screen? It should be re eligible enough, so you have to let me know. I won't read all the big long ones this time. Um, oh, nice. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Yeah, <laughs> man, what an idiot. Here you go. Yeah, that Better guy might have been upset. Never. That's why he left you a message, doofus. Oh, world's worst operating system. Oops. I <laughs> just flung myself at my computer. I fancy leaving this guy's place a bigger mess than it started. It's my goal. Now, if I was an idiot, where would I leave radioactive fluid? Probably in my fridge, along with all the other food I like to eat. Nothing but fast food. Damn it! I should buy something healthier on my way home. No, pizza's good, but you should clear up the trash. Okay. 
Yeah, seriously, okay, your fridge looks worse than mine, and mine is currently empty because I have a hole in my ceiling. That's saying something. Okay. Things to do. Remind Jesse. Done that. Pick up meds. Okay. Damn it. Radioactive meds. Where would I leave? In cupboard? No, that'd be ridiculous. In lower cupboard? I would have thought the fridge, personally. I must have left it somewhere sensible. Oh, maybe this is part of my house, or is it only one room? I'm gonna find out. Oh, I got a bog. Nice. Goodies in the toilet? Guaranteed. If there isn't any, I'm gonna put the basket in there instead. That way I feel like I've, you know, done something useful. There's some soap, some water. I do love how you can just fling everything. It's, it is quite funny. Oh, nice. Jeans on here, in case I sleep in my other pair, I guess. Seriously, who sleeps in jeans? No one, that's who. Well, this is fascinating. I probably have to actually find the thing I need to find. So... Uh oh Massive recoil? Oh dear. <laughs> Get ready for massive recoil. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. You're welcome. I'm your brain, by the way, which means you're completely and utterly screwed. Okay. What the hell? We got party cutlery? What did I leave? What is it? I'm gonna blame aliens. It's the only reasonable explanation for that nonsense. Okay, this is the front door. Drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munch. You're quite right, but I need to find the tracer fluid. That's milk. It angers me. Literally nothing in this goddamn fridge that can help me. <sighs> Damn it, where? If I was a, a maniac, where would I hide my tracer fluid? In the oven? No, not in the oven. Not in cupboards either. I bet I've walked past it like half a dozen times. Who? Mapping mines. Albert Isaacson. Hmm. It's probably important. Did I open all these drawers? No, I seem like the kind of guy who leaves something that important in a drawer. Summer blockbusters. Stunts versus CGI. Oh, it's about massive recoil. There nice. it is. Oh, obviously I'd leave it in here. Mmm. Looks tasty. Seriously. Why would you leave something with like radiation warnings in your drawer? Like you put that somewhere sensible, it like like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking on a penny. Yeah, I've heard that before. Not with bottles though. Cool. I feel like I've adequately left everything as a mess. Let's take my keys. Simon Jarrett. No, oh, we're Canadian. Well of course we're in Toronto. Duh. Do I, oh well. Just screw my mail, I suppose. No need to look at that. Oh well, let's go say hello to the doctor. Or we can just look at the brain in the corner. I seriously have no idea what this is about though. I don't know what the setting is, so this is quite cool. Wasn't expecting like a real life setting anyway. Oh. Somebody crapped on the seat next to me, can I have a new one? Who was lady in red dress? Who? Is that me? Or was that you, homeless man? That was me. Hey. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. Thanks, man. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> Even worse than this guy with the iPad. I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Also, you shouldn't. I shouldn't have answered that on the public transport. That's really rude. I would have got stared at here and cans thrown at me. Can I freak anyone out by staring at them? Also, you're trying to read a, a tablet with your sunglasses on. That's just silly. Turn the brightness up or just take them off. Nonsense. 
It's like a day in the life of a dying bloke whose house I can ruin. I get to be this guy's brain and his brain hates him. This is the best thing. Uh, next on Scary Dingy Hello? Places. Dr. Munchie? Seriously, have you seen this place? Can I ruin this guy's place too? Hi, Dr. Munchie. I'm gonna paint the walls with... No, never mind, I'm just gonna stick it through the curtain. My bad. Sorry. I've lost your... Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. In case we didn't realise it was Canada, there's a Canadian flag outside. Just to make sure, that's really rammed home. Figured the accent would do the job. Beep. This is the place, right? It must be. Hi, David. Let's just call. Are Munchie you Satan? Quick. Great. Had his phone turned off. Presumably because. It's okay. I can figure this out. Okay. Good. That that is good. Doctor Munchie, can you hear me? Hello. Help me, nine nine nine. Okay. Obviously, there's. I can look around for a code, maybe. What better thing to do than rummage through a man's desk and throw his p cup across the thing? Look, if I can't have nice things, nobody can. Like, first of all, ah, this chair is just horrible. No, no, I said the chair is horrible. Can we not? Yep, it's got wheels. Now I feel better about everything. Okay, let's ruin his life. I mean, check his computer. Uh, get your stuff ready. Okay, we're locked out. Oh, really? I figured the code would be here. I'm not allowed to repeat the codes, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Oh, well, let's look for a note. Is it on the window? No, that would be dumb, I suppose. Is it in the bin? Maybe they leave notes in drawers like normal people. Was that 2501? Do people really join up numbers? No, oh. I figured that. I want to close the drawer and upset something else. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Ooh, it's a USB stick here. I think. Now, this would be really cool, but can I slap this in the side and see cool stuff? I'll put it in the computer. Oh, in that case, no one has it. What do we say the number was? 2501? Neat. Do I want to run? No. Instead we will, I don't know, randomly try all the doors and hope for the best. James G. That ain't me. Well, he's Simon and I'm Simon's brain. And Simon's brain hates him already. Mainly because he sleeps in jeans. Goodness me. Wow, who just leaves a server room open? This actually bugs me. Scan calculation in progress. Uh. Hmm. Well, there is an aircon in here. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing, like, you know, spooky things instead of complaining about the work ethics. Oh, well. I guess we're on the hunt for spookiness. Ooh. Ooh, the singer can molest. It's the mouse. <laughs> yeah, well, this is what you get for leaving your... Pizza room open. I'm gonna hide it over here. I hope the janitor finds it and will start screwing with you with your wireless mouse. Hey! Oh hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Yeah. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. This seems like a terrible Is this idea. Part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. He's not a real doctor. Don't let him oh, touch your penis. Did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Sure. I just got a quick question. My uh, balls are glowing green. Is that normal? The tracer fluid's my brain, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick nosy around. Uh huh. Looks uh, looks okay. Looks very nice in here. Except for the random like open computers everywhere. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm ready when you are. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Cool. Then we build a computer model of it. Okay. And bombard it with stimuli. Interesting. 
The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. Isn't well, my condition it's not death? Just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> well, it's not though, because isn't it for your Ugh, whatever? Oh, thesis or not? Let's get in the chair. I haven't signed anything. Is there any waivers I should sign? Like, if you blur up my brain? I mean, I'm already pretty brain damaged. I wear jeans in bed. I don't think I can be helped. Ooh. So we got you a brain plan. It's called not wearing your jeans in bed. Oh my god. Ooh. Um. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? No. Right. I'm Simon Jarrett's brain. Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Woo! Right. Two day, four days after me. Woo! Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Can I say cheese if you're taking a picture of my brain? Uh, my brain has scan lines. I don't think my brain's supposed to be a VCR. Oh dear. Eh, well, he wore jeans in bed anyway. It's probably for the best. Ooh. What happened? Uh. I'm guessing something very spooky happened, and everything's all dark and nasty now. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Yep. Don't worry, Simon. At least your jeans are intact. You can rest easy. 